Hello, everybody. My name is uh, Terrell Sarver with B-Men Incorporated. And once again, this is our Monday morning inspiration. And uh, I have my guy here, James Payne here. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm glad that he's here with us today. And one of the things that we do at B-Men, one of the things we like to highlight is uh, family, faith, fitness, and finance. And today, we kind of want to talk about faith a little bit. I, mm. I kind of want to stay on that subject because faith is the catalyst. It's the, it's the steering wheel to everything that we're trying to do in life. And that's one of the things that God is trying to mature men in this hour and in this season is to mature our faith so he can take us to the next level. So, James Payne, man, thanks for being here today, man. I appreciate you, man. This <laughs> is my guy you, right here. This guy, you know, doing some, uh, some tough times in my life has mm -hmm. really been there to encourage me. He's always been there to, to uh, give me good, sound advice. <laughs> this is one of the brothers that I know that I can count on. He will never agree with what I'm talking about, right? Mm -hmm. He always tells me what the word says, and he always tells me what God is saying. So that's one of the things that I love about mm -hmm. this brother is that he's going to Thank tell you, me the truth. <laughs> and it's always good to have accountability partners on your team that's not going to always tell you what you want to hear. Mm -hmm. So I am grateful for this brother. He's been a long-time <laughs> friend. This is the most populous guy I have ever seen in my life. <laughs> Everybody in the city knows this guy. He goes by JP, the concierge man. So, man, introduce yourself to the folks Absolutely, man, who may man. not know you, brother. Well, first off, brother, thanks for having me here. Uh, it's an amazing uh, life we're living right now, brother, and uh, kudos to you for everything that you're doing and allowing your friends to have a platform on your journey and your mission. So uh, that's first and foremost. And thank you on uh, behalf to all of you uh, readers uh, looking and reading at our book, uh, Be Men. And if you haven't received your copy, you will do so after today. What's the name of that book? What's the name of that Be book? Be Men. Yes. Be Men Transformed. Powerful stories of yes. seven men changed by the hand of God. And one of the things we were talking about mm -hmm. behind the scenes was that we don't like to use the word transformed, right? Yeah, no. <laughs> because that means <laughs> no, we no, have no. arrived. What we're doing is transforming. Absolutely. Because we continue to make mistakes. God Absolutely. is continuing to work on us. So we never want to, you know, put ourselves in a position that we're saying that we've arrived. That's right. Because that's when the critics come and that's when everybody's watching you. They can't wait for you to make a mistake. So we want to make yeah. sure that we're transforming. Yeah. Amen. And, and, and more than that, too, is... That, that also says that God has put a period. He's not done working on us. Uh, and I believe, we believe, uh, all the authors believe that this is a process. It's a long journey. And in part of that process is we're helping to change the lives intentionally of other men to also be transforming. Am yes, I right? Sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> hey, man, you can't say no better yeah. than that. So uh, today the topic is faith. Mm. And uh, you shared with me, uh, I think a couple of days ago, a sure. scripture yeah. that the Holy Spirit uh, put oh, in your yeah, heart. Yeah, 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 so uh, share that with yeah. the people. And let's kind of dialogue let's, on that. Let's read on bit. that for a second. Uh, Hebrews 12, 1 and 2. Therefore, since we <laughs> are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that easily entangles. And let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us and that's as individuals uh, but there's a part it's really really important you have to remember and that's verse two fixing our eyes on jesus the pioneer and perfecter of our faith for the joy set before him he endured the cross scorning its shame and sat down at the right hand of the throne of god uh, buddy after you called and gave me the invitation for this the holy spirit minutes after that call hand delivered UPS, FedEx, uh, Amazon, <laughs> That's what he does. right That's to the front does. door, yes, that sir. scripture. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And uh, thanks be to God for that. So that kind of is the, the mission of our conversation today, I believe. Yes, sir. Because one of the things he said in that scripture is that there is a cloud of witnesses, mm. you know, that are watching us. And one of the things that I got from that is that we never want to be in a position when we accept Christ as our savior, that we do it publicly, right? Right. That's right. something that we do publicly, which means now we have witnesses. We have other witnesses, yes. people that also have given their lives over that's to right. Christ. Now they're watching that's right. to see how we're walking, right? That's right? And you never want to put yourself in a situation to kill your witness. Never. I have put myself in, in, in many situations <laughs> where I have killed my witness, right. right? But it's only by the grace of God that he's given me the strength to get back up. And That's to right. continue walking his grace. That's right. So I'm grateful for that. <laughs> but we also want to make sure that we stay in faith because when men put themselves in position and when they say yes to God, yes. the enemy comes at us all kind of ways. 
and that's when he's attacking our faith, right? That's right. So then that's when we have to make sure that, look, if I go left, I may allow someone else to stumble. That's right. So I have that's to right. make sure that I'm staying right on the path that God has given me, and that's where faith comes in. Absolutely. Right? So that's absolutely. That. So um, I can attest for this. I mean, in, in my former, I call it my BC, before Christ <laughs> uh, days, I intentionally uh, was pursuing God. However, the James Payne uh, made some uh, redirects, you know, like GPS rerouting, uh, hats off to GPS. Uh, <laughs> but the rerouting that occurred wasn't by uh, someone else's choice, that was by my doing. And, and that was selfish and sinful. And a lot of times on that journey, um, I did it by myself. Um, I didn't need anybody's help. Uh, I didn't need a bunch of brothers. However, I found some along the way who were also rerouted and redirected, and, and that was sin, and that was Satan putting them in my path uh, because I made a selfish, intentional desire for an, and an appetite towards sin. And so all these sinful activities would easily show up in my path. Uh, individuals, groups uh, that were never intended to be in my path Wow. As I look back, yes, I would have yes. never come across yes. them had I not, not been in that sin or entangled in, in yes. that sin, right? Yes. The, e the easel and easy entanglement process uh, was self-driven by me. I didn't need any help. However, uh, I love scripture. You know that, brother. <laughs> uh, there is a God who loves me and you. Uh, the shortest scripture in the world, God so loved, and I always say, put your name in there, so loved James Payne, Terrell Sarver, and you. Put your name in there. And then it becomes personal. Yes, sir. Uh, that he gave up himself, his son, and, so that we could be reuni reunited with him one with day. Him. Yes, sir. And so he did this as an option to allow us to continue on that journey, right? Now, he knew that we also would have opportunities of being redirected, just like he did. However, he stayed on the path. But one of the things that he had in his favor was an accountability partner in glory who sent him here on assignment. Yes, and that assignment, he knew, hey, here's the destination. Just like, I mean, I don't know why mapping and routing is on my plate today. but <laughs> That's because you transportation. Transportation <laughs> business. But once you plug in, hey, here's where I want to go, and I chose the destination and the goal, and he said, okay, great. You're, as you travel, you're going to have... Uh, a, a police officer, a road construct, something's going to be in your path on their way to your yes, journey. Right, and, right, right. and if you use the right GPS, thank you, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, he'll redirect you around. Sometimes you do have to go through them, right? <laughs> we know that. That's right. But most often, he'll get you to that destination. I think this is the misunderstanding, T. I think there's a lot of people misunderstand faith. I think they think faith is going to be easy and comfortable. Not but at all. Not at all. Zero. Not at all. Uh, it, so visually, two things. One, he gives me a visual of Golgotha every time. For those who don't know, that's the cross. That's the hill where Christ was hung on the cross. So what he shows me, and I'm a visual person, what he shows me is putting one hand out of Christ getting nailed and the other hand getting nailed and then his feet and his ankles getting nailed. So I see that as a visual of that wasn't comfortable. Not, not at, at all. all. Not yeah. at all. Yeah, that was a, uh, he wasn't put in a comfort zone. No, sir, not at all. And then he gives me an earthly example like the gym. We, you know, some of us love going to the gym. I, mean, I see you big time. <laughs> um, and then others, uh, may, maybe not so much. But that's why we need accountability partners. Yes, sir. Yes, and sir. so that's why he, I think he used, not from a gym perspective, but a biblical perspective, I think why Christ sent out two or three at a time because he knew we could be distracted easily. At any time. At, at any, any time. time. And now, yeah, because a lot of times, a lot of times people think that because we profess Christ and a lot of times that we say we've given our life over to Christ, that we have to live this life out perfectly mm. and that we're not going to make any mistakes. And that is far from the truth, because once again, we're transforming. Yes, and sir. because we're transforming by faith, there are going to be some times where we're going to be uncomfortable doing these videos. 
is not comfortable for me <laughs> at all. I'm proud of you, man. <laughs> I, am a, uh, I love people. I think my personality <laughs> is on an all-time high. I connect with a lot of people. But for some reason, being in front of this camera makes me uncomfortable. Understood. And when I said yes to God in this assignment, mm -hmm. this was part of the assignment. Right. And now I'm doing things out of my comfort zone in order because it applies with the assignment that he's given me. That's and right. I'm doing this by faith. That's right. I'm not doing this by my will and I'm not doing it by That's my right. strength. I'm doing it by his strength. Now, will I make mistakes? Yes. Absolutely. Do I stutter sometimes when I'm when I'm when I'm talking? Do I miss a, a pronounced <laughs> word sometimes when I'm talking? Yes. But at the end of the day, because I stepped out on faith and I allowed myself to be out of my comfort mm -hmm. zone, I'm okay with it because I'm maturing Brother. and I am transforming. Brother, let me give you a hyster uh, uh, hysterical example. Uh, one time uh, as an adolescent teenager, I, horrible acne, right? Still have those issues. But uh, thanks be to Catherine Payne and James Payne. Love me uh, <laughs> second to Christ, right? And uh, I remember going to them. This is before proactive. Uh, any products, <laughs> estheticians, and all the rest. And I love y'all. Y'all help a brother out. But uh, I remember crying, man, hysterically to them and saying, man, this is awful. When is it going to clear up? And my mother, in the only loving way a mother could, I said, baby, watch one day. You're going to see. It will clear up. You, people are going to see the beauty in you. Well, fast forward that life tape, right? And then I'm driving down the interstate and I see a handsome young devil, good friend of mine, who now is on Entertainment Tonight uh, in, the, in some of these other uh, reality shows, local personality. Scott, you know who you are, brother. Scott Evans. <laughs> Scott, Scott Evans. Evans yes. Love you, brother. Uh, that was my inspiration. I saw that young brother I had mentored uh, in one conversation before. And he told me, man, you should try to get into modeling. And uh, thought, no way on earth it'd be, have to be Jesus himself to open that door. <laughs> right, Fast right. forward, I'm running down the interstate and I see Scott on the inter, uh, yes, sir. On, on a billboard. billboard. On I that remember big the Ivy Tech. That's right. Ivy Tech billboard. That's right. Yeah. Well, I saw that handsome devil up there and I, and I had the audacity in the little bit of mustard seed faith I had, I said, I wish I could do that. Now look at you. And that was the faith move, right? Yes. It was an ounce of faith. And you fast forward that tape a little later and I, accidentally ran into a talent scout with Helen Wells Agency. Shout out to you, my agency. I love you guys. Um, and my daughter running down the street and God so loved James Payne that he opened the door for me to physically run into my future and, and bumped into the lady. And, and, and if you look back now, this is what, eight, nine years later, I never thought that I would be in a classification as I am with Helen Wells Agency. And now- but Not only that, you were on a big uh, billboard. McDonald's. Well, McDonald's, billboard. <laughs> McDonald's, national campaign. Yeah, yeah. So uh, faith is awesome, man. Faith is but you awesome. Got, you got, uh, it, it's the goal, right? The goal is, God, I just, I just want to pr pursue you. And he said, okay, keep coming. I'm going to pull you in some uncomfortable zones. Yes, sir. Hand, yes, sir. hand, yep, yep, feet, yep, right? Yep, yep, and yep. he said, okay, you're going to have to get in front of the camera, memorize some conversations <laughs> and some scripts. What do you mean? Forum bank. I bank it for him. He said, yeah, you can be a spokesperson for him bank for a couple of years. And so wow, I was. Wow. Hey, I you want to do some McDonald's that. stuff? I remember that. I eat McDonald's, trying to reduce it because of the health uh, concerns I have from, from me and my family. But it's those things. But it required T, faith. And it required accountability partners who, like you, was like, man, you can do it. Go for it. Uh, and it requires uh, someone like uh, uh, Helen Wells, rest her soul, um, it requires um, accountability partners like a Chris Barney, accountability partners like a John Luganbill, and a Catherine and James Payne parents who helped pour and build faith in me along the transforming journey. Yes, sir. Yes, That's sir. where it came wow, from. Wow, wow, wow. Man, you know, man, you have blessed my soul today, man. man. I really appreciate you being here. Yeah. And uh, what we want to do, like we like to do, is uh, end our segment with sure. praying with prayer. Okay. And uh, so if you can pray for Absolutely. our men today, in the area of faith and also not being uh, intimidated by entering into uncomfortable situations mm -hmm. that that's going to mature our faith as we continue to mold and shape ourselves in the way that God wants us to be. Mm -hmm. So let's pray for men in that area. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, dear gracious God, thank you so much for the uh, privilege and the opportunity of being so loved. God, I am uh, humbled and grateful this morning of this opportunity to pray on behalf of uh, 
of these men who are watching this on their television screens or iPads or phones or wherever it may be, that they heard the Holy Spirit, the voice of God himself, by way of a broken vessel named James Payne, by a platform that Terrell Sarver and B-Men have thankfully put out there. God, I know, and uh, you said where two or three are gathered, you would be present. So I know that you are here today and speaking to whoever's on the opposite side of that lens. Father, I'm asking, I'm pleading, I'm begging with Terrell this morning you, that Jesus. you will Hallelujah. hear what God is trying to tell you. Thank you, God. That you Hallelujah. will be transforming as we are. God, that you're not in this journey, in this race by yourself, that there are other men out there yes, waiting on you. Thank you, God, Jesus. that you don't have to stay where you are. That, God, you want to be reunited with those individuals who are watching this right now. Father, I thank you in advance for the transforming process that will take place on each and every one of those hearts of the yes, individuals God. watching. Hallelujah. I thank you for thank the families that will Hallelujah. be transformed. I thank you for Bless the children name, that will be reunited Bless to their name, dads. The name. husbands will be put in their proper position of king and priest of their house. Thank you, yes, Jesus. God. Thank you, Jesus. God, you are an amazing God. Amazing. You are a loving God. God, that there's one thing that we need to do is completely and ultimately depend on you and not ourselves. God, we love you so much and thank you, you in God. advance. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We love you, man. Bless you, brother. <laughs> oh, man, appreciate you, dude. Bless you. Absolutely.